Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. I am planning to leave in about an hour or so to go pick up or at least have a look at the bulk lot of clothing that I was checking out in yesterday's vlog. I'm not sure if I'm going to make any money from this, it could be a complete bust. But someone once told me that there is no better way of learning than actually doing and learning from your mistakes. So if I make mistakes, I'm going to take it as a learning opportunity instead of a loss and learn from it. Honestly, I think I'm at least going to break even on this deal, but let's just see how we go. Because I'm not going to learn anything just sitting around here not executing on these sort of deals. So let's see how we go. I have a good feeling that I'm going to make some money on this. But before I leave to do that, what I'm going to do is get out some items that I sold today. I sold around four items, so let's get those out. First item we have going out today are those pair of shoes, those Nike Shock 09s that I picked up for 15 bucks. They sold for 70. We also have a pair of nudie jeans going out right here. They sold for 30 bucks. Then a $20 deal was a men's Ralph Lauren Switzerland sort of themed polo shirt. It had a Switzerland heritage sort of logo on it, size large custom fit, and that one sold for 20. For $48 free shipping was a super dry jacket. The super dry Japan jacket. Konnichiwa. So I'm meeting up with these people in about half an hour while I'm waiting for the time to tick over. I'm just going to go into a few thrifts while I wait. But to be honest, I'm pretty nervous about this deal. This is like my first time ever doing like some kind of wholesale or bulk lot deal. I don't know why I'm nervous, but I just feel a little bit nervous. But I think that's a good thing because from experience, whenever I felt nervous before doing something and then fell through with doing it, most often than not, it was a rewarding experience and I gained something from it. So it's just... A case of feeling the fear and doing it anyway. There's a good book about that. But hopefully the deal turns out alright. While I wait, I'm just going to go into a Salvos and Vinnie's here. I have some Versace. I'm going to get this Versace shirt. It's got the Medusa right there on the chest as well. Cool t-shirt find here. We've got Harley Davidson size large t-shirt. It is the 14th National Rally 2004 Gold Coast Australia. Four bucks for that one. I'm out the front of their warehouse right now. I'm about to go in, a little bit nervous, but I'm not gonna bring the camera in because obviously I don't wanna show where this place is and yeah, but let's see how we go. The deal is done guys. I brought a big bag, if you can see in the back there. It weighs 25 kilograms and it's full of women's clothing. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. But you gotta swing a few times and and uh, what do they say? What's the saying? You just throw some shit at the blanket and hope it sticks. That's what I'm doing. So hopefully it turns out all right. There was some pretty good brands. I went through each individual clothing item just to see the brands. And to be honest, I am no expert when it comes to women's clothing. I have barely sold any women's clothing. I've sold some, lots of women's clothing in the past. It turned out all right. But I got those for free, so there was no risk in it. This time it's a little different. But I was doing some cramming before coming up this way, about an hour before I was on the computer. It was like cramming for an exam for school. I was just going through all the women's brands in the specific uh, categories. They said they had blouses, skirts, tops and all that stuff and I was looking at all the brands just to see what the valuable brands were. Hopefully it turns out all right. There was some items brand new with tags too. So we'll see how it goes. So guys, what I'm going to do is get stuck straight into it. I've got all day to list. There is, I counted them, there's about 90 items, about 88 items I think there is in there. It worked out to be $1.20 per piece. So even if I sell a minimum of $5 a piece, which I think is a realistic figure, it's looking pretty good. And there is some new with tag items in there, maybe four or five of those, which could be like 20 plus. So it is looking on the bright side, but I'm gonna get straight into work and start creating the draft listings for them and then taking the photos and eventually getting them all up for sale eventually. Hopefully by the end of the day. Let's see if we can get all 90 listings done today. That's my challenge. 
So I've just been working on listing the items that I picked up today. I believe I got about 50 items listed for tonight. I'm going to finish up. I'm at a completion point for tonight and then I think I might finish it all off tomorrow. I also have to edit a vlog and I want to look after my sleep a little bit more. I've been going to bed about 1.30 every night and I feel like my body's not getting enough rest when I wake up again at like, you know, 7 o'clock or whatever it is. So I want to get a bit more of a longer sleep tonight. It is 9 o'clock. So I'm going to edit a vlog. That, that should take me like half an hour. And then I'll probably go to bed straight after that. That is it for today's video. But this is what the situation is looking like with the items that I got today. All this stuff is listed there's another bag up here of it there i just need to organize it in the packaging system and there's also that much left to list as well maybe like one fifth of the bag and it's looking very profitable so i'm very happy with it but i'm going to finish it off in tomorrow's video so thanks guys for watching see you in the next one